Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about one thing we look forward to investment-wise in the month of September. As we're making this video, it is September. To me, I think this is an easy one to go off of. I'm closing on a duplex in two days, so I'm looking forward to that and getting that deal up and ready. So I would have to use that one. And then, I mean, the, the process as well. I, I, I like the process of going broke and then going back to work to get into building back funds. So, you know, I I'm looking forward to getting this property in my portfolio and then getting right back to work and building up funds as well. So, but, but Kirby, uh, what do you look for? You've been doing a lot of stocks. So fill me in. What, what are you looking for? What are you looking towards in uh, September? It's not just this September. I look forward, I look forward towards every September, but I'm looking for carnage. Well, you know me, I'm looking for carnage. I'm looking to take advantage of <laughs> advantage of bad situations. But um, but what I mean by that is like I always say the best time to invest in real estate for me, I find the best deals, you know, after your kids go back to school. Kids back in school now. It's now time to party. But between October and December, October and January, that's where I find the the best deals. I mean, uh September. Uh, people start moving, you know, for the most part, you know, kids back in school. So for the most part, people are settled in whatever school district, wherever they're going to be at they're they're settled in. The people that have uh, properties on the market, they're going to sit there for a while. I mean, that's just what's going to happen. They're going to sit there for a while and they're going to have to cut prices more and more. Interest rates going up. So prices should be getting cut more and more. Should. I'm not, I'm not expecting catastrophic fall off the cliff, but I am looking for opportunities. I mean, the same way in the stock market. Uh, historically, uh, September is one of the worst months in the stock market. I'm not saying the stock, this year is going is to happen, but I'm always looking for opportunities. That's that's it. I look for every September. This is why I love September, because I just find deals. You know, come October, you got Halloween, then you got Thanksgiving, you got Black Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Cyber Monday, all that other crap. People ain't paying attention. When people ain't paying attention, I'm looking for carnage. And then that's where I'm going to find the deals at. Um, and it don't matter if it's the stock market. It don't matter if it's real estate market. It don't matter if it's business. This is this is the best time of the year for me. And it ain't because of the holidays. Well, it is because less competition. But that's, that's what I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, I've been focused on stocks more right now and i know people are gonna say oh well the stock market didn't raise what 17 percent on a year or something like that 20 percent on the year i'm talking about sp 500 uh but yeah so i've been focused on that i mean i'm focused on it all the time but i've been more focused on seeing what opportunities may be coming through uh a lot of laggers that have a strong potential uh, moving forward. And when I say moving forward, I don't mean I'm going to buy it today and then by December I'm flipping it and selling it. I mean, it has long projections moving forward 5, 10, 15 years from now. And I'm looking for an opportunity to buy at a discounted rate. But September, you know, August provided some. September provided was going to provide. And then moving on to the year. Yeah, the market in general should uh, rise going into the end of the year, uh, like historically, opposite of what happened last year. But I'm just looking for uh, opportunity for the laggards. I'm looking for opportunities for destruction in the housing market. When I'm saying destruction, again, people, I'm not talking about 08 financial crisis. I'm talking about opportunities where somebody's desperate that they have to sell. I want to be, I want to be their huckleberry. I want to be the one that that get that deal done. So I'll be more diligent and vigilant at looking at those opportunities as they come. But not in a rush to do anything, but look for opportunities. And then if the opportunity arrives, that's what I'm going to do. But trust Kirby does want 2008 to come back. <laughs> he, he does want the blood in the streets. <laughs> you do want 2008 to come back, but I don't think this is going to be a yeah, 2008 yeah, yeah. Of course, event. Of but, but yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I think 2008 did a week. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that that's what I would be looking forward to is uh looking forward to is um just closing on this property and then that that's a good point too that people are too distracted around these months i um i haven't closed on a property 
during that like October to December range. But I'll definitely be looking to to see see the deals and see the see what's going on in the in the real estate market. But do you expect and I, I, that, mm -hmm, go ahead? No, go ahead, go ahead. Do you expect to find a property this year or you um I, are you I found two last year. Good. I found two last year this time. I mean, I get I, as long as I get into the deal in that time frame, some might close, you know, February, might close in March, but the deal was done. Yeah, like the one in Georgia that I did. I found that it was on, on the market for what 12 hours? Was that Christmas Eve or one of those days I found it? I forgot what day it was I found it. Yeah. That's that's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, I'll I'll find it. I'll find something. If it just depends on if the deal's good enough. That I'm like, all right, well, yeah, it's time for me to deploy some capital in that arena. But me finding it is not going to be a problem. I already, because I already know people are programmed to take time off, to not focus, not to be vigilant. I'm already I mean, seeing it today. Yeah, so there. Yeah, today's like Labor Day. Everybody feet kicked up. Not yeah. me. I'm gonna go right to the MLS when we get done with it. I mean, I'm not expecting nothing to happen now. Like I said, I'm waiting for October, November, December, but I already know the process is starting. People, I have people emailing me talking about, hey, do you want, you know, we in like a group email. Oh, Holly Moon at Disney. Do anybody want to go? Everybody go. Go. Everybody just go. It's okay. Santa Claus is going to take care of you. Just, just let me stay in the trenches and love find the desperate people. Because and the inverse of that, so a lot of people are going to be focused on, you know, the Christmas holidays and all those holidays. But these people that's distressed sellers, they focused on it also. So they thinking, oh, should I make a mortgage payment or should I should I pay for Thanksgiving and Christmas? Of course, they go, there's no way in the world they can they can miss skip missing the holidays. So they stopped the mortgage payment. And then now they're in a stressful situation. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. I got you. I'll hold on to you. Just, just, just give me what. Just give me all your problems. That's what it is. That's why I love the holiday. I, I, I love it. These, these people are crazy. <laughs> oh man! With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one.